Hi there. Now, what I've got here is a summary exercise based on the previous video where I introduced you to the Cartesian and parametric forms for the equation of a hyperbola. And also discuss the Cartesian form for the equations of the asymptotes. So I'm assuming that you've had a look at that. If not, do go back and check it out. Although I will be giving you a summary of that video in a few moments. OK, well, in the first question, we've got to sketch the hyperbola 9x squared minus 16y squared equals 144 and state the equations of the asymptotes. So what was that summary then of the previous video? Well, in it, we discussed the equation of a hyperbola, the Cartesian form, was given by this, and we had two parametric forms, the hyperbolic form and the trigonometric form. The equations of the two asymptotes were given as y equals b over a times x and y equals minus b over a times x. And the curve crossed the x-axis at a and minus a. So for this first one here, then to find out what our values of a and b are, we've got to put it into this form here, and that means dividing by 144. And if you do that, what you get is x squared over 16 minus y squared over 9 equals 1. So clearly, a must be 4 and b must be 3. So we can see that it crosses the x-axis at 4 and minus 4, plus or minus a, and when it comes to the two equations of the asymptotes, which are given by y equals b over a times x, you end up with y equals 3 quarters x. And then you've got y equals minus b over a times x. That's going to be y equals minus 3 quarters x. Now, in 2, we've got to sketch the hyperbole with the following parametric equations. We've got this trigonometric style parametric equation and the hyperbolic form OK, and then we've got to go on to give the Cartesian equations of the asymptotes and the equation of the hyperbola. So for the second one, when I compare the trigonometric parametric form to what we've got here, you can see that A is 3 and B is 2. And from that, we should be able to sketch our hyperbola. The equations of the two asymptotes are going to be y equals 2 thirds x and y equals minus 2 thirds x. It crosses the x-axis at 3 and minus 3, and the Cartesian equation is x squared over 9 minus y squared over 4 equals 1. And then for 2 part 2, I just thought we'll do the parametric form when we've got it in the hyperbolic form. OK, so uh, with this one, a is 9, B is 5, and doing much the same as we've just done, you can see that you should get this particular solution. Cartesian equation then is x squared over 81 minus y squared over 25 equals 1. So a very easy exercise, and uh, I hope you're able to get them correct.